Hey Lou, welcome to the second part of our demo. So in the first part of our demo, we discussed what Dremio is, a lakehouse platform that allows us to connect all of our data in one place so we can govern it, curate it, and organize it in one place to deliver to all our data use cases like BI dashboards and um, data notebooks and things like that. Now in this video, what I want to do is just get hands on now that we have got Dremio set up on our laptop, walk through sort of the features of Dremio and sort of like the, the, the things that kind of make Dremio a really pleasant experience for your end users. Because the idea here is you're making the life easier for your data engineers and your data analysts. You're making it easier for your data engineers to curate the data that they need to provide to data analysts, data scientists, and other business users. And you're making it easier for those business users, analysts, and scientists to be able to consume the data because it's all kind of already pre-organized in one place. Because oftentimes you have lots of data so in this case, I have two tables in Postgres. And between these two tables, I would like to join them with this table that I have here, this shipping data.json. Now, normally I'd have to like move data in order to make this work. So I'd have to either move that JSON data over to Postgres or you know export the Postgres data as JSON and then work with it that way. But with Dremio, I can just kind of do all this curation right here from Dremio. So essentially the first thing I'd want to do is go query this shipping data.json. Now normally, again, a data lake is just files. So files aren't inherently database tables, but Dremio allows you to, to tell uh, Dremio to treat data files or groups of data files as a table. So I can just go to this shipping data.json or like a folder of JSON files and I can click right here where it says format file and it'll recognize what data type it is. And again, it can recognize a variety of different data types. And then I can now recognize that as a table. So I'm formatting the table. And now when I access the source, you'll notice that it sees a purple symbol here. Purple symbols means physical table. So you're taking a look at the original physical table stored wherever it's stored. And I can now run SQL against it and I see the data. Okay, but again, um, and this data looks pretty good. I can see that it's a, I, I have a number field for order ID. I got a shipping address uh, or strings, that's fine. The only thing I might wanna do is that date field. I noticed that, hey, that date field is being treated as, as, a, as a string. I may want that to be treated as a date. So one of the things you can do with Dremio is basically curate um, data. So in this case, what I can do here is I could use SQL to convert that shipping date into a date field, but Dremio goes the extra mile and tries to enable your less technical users to be able to do a lot of these things themselves. So if they don't know SQL, they can do this as well. I can just click right here where these three little dots are and say, hey, I wanna convert the data type of this column. In this case, I wanna convert it into a date. And then I can take a look at the preview and I can see, hey, here's the old column, here's the new column as a date. That looks exactly the way that I want it to look. So I can hit apply. And now see, it automatically generates SQL to convert that column into a date. And now I have a much more ideal version of view of my data. Now again, at this point, I have not made any copies of the data. All I've done is create a view on the existing data that is defined as SQL to get the result that I want. Now I can save this for much easier reuse by clicking over here and say save as view. And then I can save it you know, in a variety of different places. So in this case, I'm gonna save it in what's called my home space. Every user gets a home space where they can kind of store views that you know, they may be working on. But if I wanna share views, because one of the great features of Dremio is to be able to collaborate with others and sharing a lot of this work you do on the data, you'd wanna do that in what's something called a space, which we'll show you in a little bit. But I'm just gonna go here, my home space, and I'm just gonna create a uh, shipping data view. And now if I go back to the data explorer, if I click over here in my home space, I see that there's my shipping data view. And notice that it's green. So green are not physical copies of the data. Green data sets are views. So they represent sort of SQL definitions of how the data should look like based on sources that I've already connected. So wonderful, now I have that kind of set up, nice and good. Now, what I'd like to do with these two Postgres tables 
is I would like to join them together. Okay, customers and orders. So that way I can provide, so I'll start with the orders table. Let's run a query on the orders table. And I'll see that I only have the customer ID. I would like the customer information there. So what I can do is, again, if you don't know uh, SQL very well, I could just write the SQL for a join, but for your less technical users, they can click this join button. And now all I have to do is select the table that I want to join it with. So again, I want to join it with the customer's data table. And then I can say, hey, wherever the customer ID in the original table, the orders table, matches the customer ID inside the customer's table, I want you to join there. Okay. And now I see that. And the only issue I see now is I see the customer data there, but I see these two customer ID fields. I may want to get rid of those. So I could manipulate the SQL and do that pretty easily. Again, if you know SQL, this is all pretty easy to do. But again, for your non-business or for your less technical business users, I could again just click over here and just say, hey, I want to drop this column. Okay, run the query again. And then drop this column. Okay, and then when I look at this, this just looks a whole lot better. Okay, wonderful. Everything is just looking fine and dandy. Cool. So now the next thing I'm going to want to do is then, oh, I wanted to actually save that view. So let me go back to it. Okay, so let me go run that query again. Actually, that's still good. So I can save this as a view, and we'll just save this as orders in my space. So this is like the curated orders view. Awesome. Now I can go back here and I take a look at my space and I have my orders and my shipping data view. And again, all this was curated pretty simply. So I was able to take the raw data, do a lot of that cleanup work. You know, you could also do things like deduping and taking care of taking care of nulls and any kind of cleanup data you want to do. Now, before I kind of join these two data sets, I just want to kind of introduce spaces. So again, spaces are part of Dremio's default catalog. So the idea is that whichever version of Dremio you're using, whether it's the, our cloud managed version or our self-managed software version, which is what we're using right now, there's gonna be some sort of default catalog here. And one of the things you can do to help collaborate within Dremio is you can create subdivisions of this default catalog. Okay, so I can, in this case, we refer to them as spaces, but they could also be folders. But the idea is I can create subdivisions. Usually what you'd wanna do is maybe create different spaces or folders for your different business lines, so finance and so forth. And then within there, you can organize the views that you need for that particular business line. And then you can grant permissions to any user. Every user starts with zero permissions. So then you can grant users permissions to either the individual data sets they need access to or to whole spaces or whole folders um, if they need access to the whole uh, sets of views, say for that particular uh, section. So they almost become like essentially virtual data marts. Okay, so basically that's how you would do your data modeling here in Dremio. You would take all the data sources that you've connected, curate spaces to act as your virtual data marts, and then basically do the same type of data modeling you would do in a data warehouse, but directly here from Dremio working not just within data you have in a data warehouse, but data you have in your data lakes and databases and so forth, minimizing movement of data. So now that we have that, what I'm going to do is I am going to join these two data sets. Okay, so we're gonna have orders here and I'm gonna to wanna to join that with the shipping data. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my, I wanna again, I wanna do it against the view. So there it is. And I'm going to say, hey, wherever the order ID matches here and the order ID matches here, uh, that's where I want to join the two data sets. Okay, and cool. Now I can just run the query. And there we go. I can see that now I have the shipping information, the customer information, and the order information 
all there. All I may want to do now is just drop the extra um, one of the extra order ID columns. You know, and then I can run this. And there we go. I, I have the data as I'd like it. And I can continue to tweak it from there. But everything has like the right data types. It's all looking good. And again, I never move that JSON file. That JSON file is on my storage and those tables are my Postgres, but I'm working with them as if they were all in one big system. Okay, and that's oftentimes referred to as data virtualization. And Dremio is really good at allowing you to work with all your different data in different places in a nice unified way. So that's all well and good. I'm gonna save this view. Call this like final order data. And we're good there. And huzzah. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.